Hey guys, it's Melody Lane here, and I'm going to show you the new printable magnet sheets. You get three sheets of eight and a half by 11, and it's really, really thin. And it cuts in all the Cricut machines. So it's really thin, so it'll go through your printer. So today I want to make a little Cricut logo to put on my fridge. So I have to pick one that comes, I forgot which one it is. I don't think it's that one. Oh, this is the newest one. This one is from the Cricut Everyday Cartridge, which was a Cricut Circle exclusive. I think it's this one. This is, I think, the older one. I'm going to go ahead and do that because I need one with a shadow. Nope, this isn't the one with the shadow. It only has the eyes in the background. Let's go back. Oh, I remember which one it is now. It's an orange one. This one. This is in the subscription, and this is available for anyone who has a subscription. Or you can buy it for 99 cents. And I'm going to go ahead and insert this one and this one, just so you can see the difference and why I'm choosing this one. Okay, this one, I'm going to open up the shadow, because we need the shadow on this. Okay, this one has no shadow, has eyes as a background. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you what each of these do when you flatten them to print. So let's flatten them all. Flatten that one. Flatten this one. And flatten this one. Now, you can see a little bit of a difference. This one, you can see through the eyes. Those are going to cut out. They're not going to be solid like this one. Let's go ahead and hit go and see what happens. Do you see the difference? This, because it has bleed, bleed is always good because it will cut that out perfectly without any white showing around the edge. This one, the mouth doesn't show. And this one, with the full shadow, is perfect. So we're going to go back to the design canvas. And we're going to delete this one, delete this one, and there's something wrong with this one. I don't want it orange, I want it green. So I'm going to unflatten it. I'm going to color that green. Choose a green. That looks about good. Okay, now I'm going to flatten it again. Now, let me show you. Let's, let's unflatten it again. See, it has two layers. And because when you click on it, they're grouped together, it selects both layers. If both layers are not selected or they're ungrouped, let's ungroup it just so I can show you the difference. Like if I just flatten the one piece, it's not they're not going to be together, see? And they will not print together. This will cut out the tiny little eyes. Let me show you. See? And then you can hardly see this, but it'll cut that out. That's not what we want. Let's go ahead and undo. Oh, yeah. There we go. Now we got it back perfect. Now we're going to put a box around both of them and flatten them together. Now I'm going to hit go to see if it's what I want. Yep, that's what I want. So I'm going to go put the magnet material in the printer. Okay, now that I printed it, it goes to this screen while it's printing. Okay, so I'm going to take my brand new map that came with my Explore 1. And I got my magnet sheet. And I'm going to place it in the upper left-hand corner where it shows on my screen where it's going to cut. 
on my screen, I have to select the Cricut device. Now, I got my magnet material from my printer. And I'm gonna put it on my brand new mat I got from my Cricut Explorer 1. So we're gonna put it on there. And I'm gonna go ahead and upload it. And click the load button. But you need to turn the dial to custom for the magnet material. That's all the way over, right here. So now on the computer, you can see all the different materials. We need to go to magnet material. Magnet sheet heavy or magnet sheet light? I think this is a pretty light magnet sheet, so I'm going to click that one. So now I'm going to click the go button that's blinking on the machine. And it's going to read the registration mark so it knows right where to cut. Now the load button is blinking, we unload it. And we got some magnet material. Yay, so exciting. Now if I wanted, I might be able to put this back through the printer and cut some more here. But actually you should do that before you cut it to cut something else on this side, so you save space. And look! Now I can go stick this on my refrigerator. So I can see Cricut every day when I open the fridge. I'll put a link below to where you can get the Cricut magnet material also. And the Cricut Explorer 1. The Cricut Explorer 1 is a more affordable Explorer. And it does everything the other explorers do. So there will be a link to that also. Thanks for watching everyone. And don't forget to subscribe. I appreciate all of my subscribers. Thanks guys. See you in the next video. Here's a shout out to a few of the people who support me on Patreon. Carmen Case Peters. Diane Potter. Cindy Wesley. Kathleen Gotsky. Jackie English. Linda Landis, Belinda Pollitt, Tracy Curavan, Denise Tuttle, Tina Foley, Bridgetta Dalberry, April Story, Anne November Moss, Kathy Messenger, Veronica Cano Campos, Sheila Leary, and Grace Kearns. Thanks everyone. I appreciate you all.